Welcome to Therapy Through Cards. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at how are you glowing up and what is your next glow up? <laughs> what new exciting things are going to come into your life? Or I'm almost getting like surprises. Yes, what surprises are about to come into your life and how are you going to be glowing up? shortly this is really exciting lots of energy lots of vibration as well like i'm feeling like this is all going to be really really positive which is you know i'm i'm happy to embrace things that you know are a little bit challenging and negative and painful but i ultimately feel for all piles like this is this is really exciting. So let's get into it. We have four piles, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Choose intuitively whatever pile you're drawn to immediately. That will be your pile with your messages. So let's get into it straight away. So pile number ones let's get into your reading i'm so excited how are you glowing up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put your your main card up there and we'll turn it over in a minute but i'm going to lay out your cards and while i do that i'm going to tell you what i channel like what i picked up when i was shuffling your cards so immediately for you guys, what came through was getting help, okay? Getting connections, getting uh, a message that really, really helps you. Like this is networking. This is the feeling of finally finding a, a lead to something that you are trying to achieve um this could also what i'm feeling is like someone's gonna be able to 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 give you the help that you needed or to give you the answers that you want that you're looking for or someone or an accountant that you have is going to be very very important it's going to play a very important role in in like where your direction goes like, I know this is all about your glow up, but it's going to definitely kind of fast track your glow up or it's going to really suddenly uh, <laughs> help you get on the right path. You know what I mean? Like, this is about contacts that are very, very beneficial to you. Um, I definitely feel like that's where your glow up is going to to like it's not going to be the glow up in a sense like we'll have a look more on your spread but it's these people or these leads or these networks or or a specific meeting or just some sort of conversation that could definitely turn you into changing paths or coming up with this idea and then suddenly following this this vision that you suddenly come up with like this is really exciting let's start over your cards because i'm getting very um my energy is I'm getting a little bit scattered as well so maybe you're like having all these ideas in your mind you're like oh my god wow okay this is possible oh wow okay this person has just given me this information wow okay now what do i do i have all these options as well so there, there may be like several people that reach out to you and you're like oh my god how do i decide all these people are, are giving me so many opportunities well, which one do i take so i'm gonna put this one up here because it doesn't kind of fit here with the spread so let's turn it over let's see exactly how you're glowing up harvest okay <laughs> Ooh, you're definitely going to be reaping some rewards, okay? I feel like it's a harvest of 
connections, okay? That's what I'm feeling like. Let's have a look. Four of Swords, Kyanite, Courage, ooh. Community, there we go. That is what I'm feeling. Yes, and look at this, the bees. The bees for me re represent, you know, obviously a sense of harvest. Uh, but it's almost like you are busy. Like you are busy with appointments. You are busy with people giving you giving you some sort of advice that might be really really helpful or an idea or oh oh divination okay maybe this is about you building a community community around some sort of divination practice um it, yeah, okay. Let's just keep going because there's so much. Ooh. Yes, all right. So we have the Hierophant and we have Celebration. Celebration is in the middle of your spread. So there's definitely, with the Three of Cups, it's, it is about being surrounded by people, okay? It is celebrating. I feel like it is celebrating new opportunities that are, that are going to present themselves to you through people, through this community. Um, also, what is coming through now as I kind of like look at the card more intently with the divination, you may get the answers that you need or the ideas through divination, okay? That's, ooh, that's really, really big. And the Hierophant, oh, Hierophant and the introspection card oh all right for me this is ooh, this is like you coming to terms exactly with oh okay it's like having an aha moment someone gives you a message and you're like oh yes this this is it this is this is the lead i've needed this is the person that i've that i was meant to to connect to like it's almost like i'm getting the butterfly effect it's like every action or every word or everything that you do matters okay uh and it's going to lead you to ultimately <laughs> your dreams or to this harvest here uh but spirit's definitely just coming okay spirit's telling me now this is a channel spirit's telling me that if you need to pay close close attention to the people around you to the things that are are being said uh, to the people that you encounter, to uh, just your day-to-day -day affairs, okay? Because there are going to be things or that are going to present themselves and be put in your path that you need to take notice of, all right? Uh, this, is, this is really exciting. Yeah, spirit possibly with the divination that's why it's spirits really here i'm gonna have a look at your second chakra archangel uriel but i i feel like there is going to be possibly a message or an email or 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 someone's gonna reach out to you that just opens up so many oh my god like leads for you Okay, let's have a look at your crystal. 28. Uh, kyanite. Uh, 101. Resolving disputes, diplomacy, restoring harmony, mending fences, and building bridges. Okay. Okay, that's really interesting. So with the with the building bridges. Oh, okay. This is just coming through. This is really really interesting. Okay, so spirits telling me that there may be people that you have fallen out of, fallen out with, or people that you don't necessarily consider your closest friends or someone that you're particularly 
fond of, okay? Um, I don't feel like there's any hatred or any sort of uh, anger towards these people, okay? I just feel like they're not definitely, they're not on your priority list, all right? Uh, so I feel like this lead is gonna come from them, to be honest, with the with the kinite here, um, building bridges. So someone that you may have fallen out of contact with is is gonna come back. Um, it's yeah, I feel like this lead is not someone that you kind of expect. And it might come from someone that you're just a bit, little bit like, oh, wow, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that from you or, but it, this, this progress, this networking, this, 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 this level of, And what is coming through is just communication. Like you're going to be getting a lot of messages through people communicating to you, all right? Or people being in your company. Uh, but I feel like previously, pile number one, there was this sort of, this period of you being almost like in the opposite position. It's like nothing's happening. I'm not feeling connected. I'm not uh, having that one-on-one, -on -one, I'm not saying companionship. Like I feel like that's where you're leveling up. Like you're gonna have companions. You're gonna have people that you, that look up to you, that kind of want to get to know you, that have messages for you, that have even, they have suggestions for you, but it's for people that you're like, oh, okay, mm, I didn't expect that from you. You know what I mean? It's not like you're so fondly like, oh, wow, yes. I feel at first it's going to be a little bit of a surprise for you, and then you're going to be like, oh, okay, with the Hierophant, is this really... A good idea with the morals here it's like okay let me think all right I'm a little bit apprehensive at first but I I honestly feel like you're going to take a risk or something especially with the courage card here but like I said before this you have been previously kind of maybe a little bit detached not so connected to people not so open to to networking or not so much open to receiving uh, communication with people yeah but now with the three of cups you are just like the center of Everyone's universe. This is great. This is really, really great. It's almost like the Four of Swords, right? The Four of Swords could almost be like you. It's this kind of loner energy. It's you being quite detached and in your own space and not wanting to open up or share what's going on within you. And I feel like that kind of immediately changes with the Three of Cups. That's where you're up leveling and that's where you're about to glow up, all right? You're letting people in, you are connecting. You may get some some messages from people that you didn't, didn't expect, but I feel like you need to pay attention to those people's to those messages, to those connections the most. Because I feel like that is where you're going to be able to, to, to reap this harvest. Like I'm not 100% sure what it is, like what these leads are, but they're gonna be really important and they're gonna change your life, to be honest. That's what I'm feeling. There's gonna be no more longing for connection 
there's going to be no more introspection, no more meditation. Like, that is your glow up, pile number one. I'm going to get you some in intuitive messages. Like, you're suddenly going to be the person that people want to... Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. I'm just going to... My messages are all over the place. Your physical body will be a main focus. Experimentation of dress, style, and aesthetic will change. What people think of you... Oh, some people will not even recognize you. Hmm. Ha -ha. So, yeah, for some of you, you guys are definitely coming out of this... this introspective mode that I feel like some of you have been in with the here. It's almost, it's really, really fascinating because you have the attachment card and you've got longing and desperation. I feel like the, you guys have deep down long to feel connected, to, to be part of a community, to, 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 uh, to celebrate being in union with someone. I feel like it's many people because we've got three cups here and then we've got the community, all right? And then we've got things are about to get magical. So that is where you're glowing up. Like you're gonna probably meet some new people. You're gonna have a new friendship circle. You're going to maybe expand your group at work, I'm feeling. That just came through. New people coming into your life and they're going to give you leads, all right? They're going to make, they're going to kind of like challenge the way that you view the world in a way with a hierophant. Wealth is not evil. You have financial abundance more than you can imagine. Wow. Landed on the hierophant. So it's all about getting clear on almost like I feel the Hierophant's giving me vibes of you accepting an offer, okay? And making sure that it is in alignment with where you're going, you know, and what you want. And for some of you, it's going to be a little bit like that's going to be a bit shaken up, but I feel like you're going to have more clarity as you... Connect more with people and you are around new people as well. Like they're going to make you see, I'm just, I'm just getting the sense of make you see your world differently and, and things are going to suddenly be like, oh, this is possible. That's possible. Wow. Okay. Oh, this person knows that person. So, and they're offering me or they think that that, per that that person thinks this is actually something that I can that I can do or it is a possibility that's the vibe I'm getting okay <laughs> uh, let's have a look at your second chakra Archangel Uriel my god I'm leaving fingerprints all over here <laughs> uh, okay 36 no it's not the crystal one 36, Archangel Uriel. Ooh. It's interesting how I put it up there. Intimacy and creativity. Oh, yeah. So I feel like the, you're going to be in contact with people that are going to make you feel so much more creative and there's going to feel that connection. Like there's going to be like this intimate connection but it's not like intimate and in, as in like sexual or anything it's kind of like oh okay a deep understanding or a deep resonance that you have with this person or these people isn't that great like maybe you guys share the similar interests and it, maybe they're a part of your I'm getting like creative project just because we've got creativity here with the second chakra and it's next to harvest. So maybe there is something that's like 
creative that's going to come to fruition and it's just going to be very well received by a lot of people and that's just going to give you so much more networking isn't it it's just going to get you like <laughs> oh i just feel like talk of the town let's get another message before i close your reading empathy interesting i am open to seeing both sides of a situation ah uh, yes okay i definitely feel like that's with the hierophant so you're going to be receiving a lot of possibilities and you may need to check in with yourself and check in with okay which one is the right one for me all right and have the courage have the courage to say no all right i definitely feel like that you might be given some sort of offer and you're like oh okay no that doesn't sit well with me with the hierophant um i'm just gonna have to decline that uh but yeah wow pile number one that is your glow up. You're going to be receiving help and you're going to be expanding your network. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. So what is your glow up? Your next glow up, what's coming in that is exciting and that it's almost like a blessing, I feel, for you, pile number two. This is... Ooh. Okay. Let's turn over your cards. I'm just going to channel into your energy right now. Let's see how I feel. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Pile number two, you guys are going to be able to raise your, how do I say this, your standard of living. It's almost like you're going to be able to afford things that you couldn't before afford. So there may be this glow up of having extra money or something in order to buy a purchase that you couldn't do previously because you just didn't have that extra money. So I definitely feel like that's coming through. Maybe you guys are getting extra finances that is going to let you indulge a little bit. I'm definitely feeling that. Like I got a vision for your group and the vision was you eating really fine food. Uh, this could be you paying attention to your diet. Uh, it definitely could be you focusing on only eating certain food, but it was more of like it was extravagant. It was like eating very fine food at a restaurant, like a really nice cuisine or a very popular restaurant, like a five star restaurant or something that you don't that you wouldn't usually go and eat at, right? But it's because you maybe will have a little extra finances. But I want to see exactly because that was my vision. Let's see what else. Ooh. Spirit's with you guys. That's for sure. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a look. Ooh. Okay. There we are. Cornucopia, that ultimately means success. It means abundance. Um, can you just look at that? Look at all those foods. I'm going to put up the camera because that's insane. I was telling you that you guys are going to be eating like really fine foods. That's your next glow up. So possibly it's almost like these are very decadent kind of foods. These are almost like the foods that kings and queens would eat that's the sense i'm getting so that's really interesting and the fact that we've got higher realms like you're on a higher level <sighs> okay yeah Ooh. <laughs> Whew, okay 
So, my dear number twos, there is a, a few things that you are, um, a few areas that you are glowing up in. Uh, number one is your <laughs> your spirituality and your intuition. It's almost like you guys have gone deep within yourself with the hermit card, okay? We have introspection, like you've gone deep within and then you've got Scorpio here with King of Cups. And this is something that you're very fascinated about. Like you will go into the depths of your being and you will try to undercover almost like your personality and transform all the parts that don't serve you anymore. Like, I'm, all, I'm getting like ch pain in my chest. So I'm getting this pain in my chest when I read the caution card. Okay, spirit likes to channel messages through my body, uh, sensations. So there may be something that you need to be caution, to take caution on. And whew, all right, there is a lot of, I'm just going to say it, energy within you that needs to be released. I'm just going to say negative because that's like the most basic way that I can say that. Um, uh, Okay, there are dead parts of yourself within you, okay, power number two, that need to be released with the volcano. And I feel like that is something that you're going to be doing and it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Oh, this requires, there, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just going to say it how, how it is. Ultimately, this is going to definitely oh give you cornucopia right once you go through it's almost like it evolvement process all right like with freeing your spirit in a way i feel like parts of yourself are dead within you and it's trapping your your it's trapping it like spirit can't connect with you. And I feel like spirit really wants to do that. And that is where you're evolving. You're releasing all the things, like the toxic parts of yourself that are blocking your connection with spirit. Okay. And oh, I'm going to show you these cards first before I keep talking because tranquility, that's very interesting. Best possible solution. And nature communication. Okay, definitely. One well, with the nature communication and the spirit guide and the higher self, your eternal spirit. All right. You have internal spirit next to volcano, which is release. So you guys are releasing your spirit. That is your glow up. Look at this. We've got free spirit. Spirit guide. Your eternal spirit. Elemental messages, nature communication, which is basically spirit communication. So, whew. but there is this caution card. So I'm, oh. there is going to be a release, all right? You're going to go within. You're going to try and be able to connect with spirit a lot more and your spirit as well, you know? Um, Especially for this King of Cups, this is like fascinated, and it's like the Scorpio here. Scorpios dig deep, and then you've got next to Hermit, which is introspective. So you're going deep within yourself to release your re release any barriers or any blockages that is going to prevent spirit from connecting to you. Okay, and I'm gonna be honest with you, this is gonna be painful. All right, it's not going to be, and, and also, what just came through here is 
you may, some of you guys, guys may have psychosomatic symptoms, okay? And that can just be a number of things. It could be any sort of like anxiety. It could be you may feel numbness in your limbs. You may have palpitations. You may have any sort of physical symptoms that is, uh, you, know, you know, like not super serious that you need to go to the doctor, all right? It's just something that, is due to your to the blockages that you have and I feel like these physical physical uh, sensations is spirit kind of like trying to get in and connect with you Like, I'm still feeling, like, the, the pain in my chest area as well. So, I I need more cards for you guys. Because I want to know what's going in. Like, what needs to be released? So, Spirit, let me know. Like, I know you want to get in and you want to connect more with these people that are tuning in. But it's going to be a massive transition nonetheless, pile number two, because you've got the transformation card and you are never going to be the same. Once you start like releasing these blocks, you're going to be literally a free spirit here. Uh, connecting to the higher realms. Because like spirit needs room to... to to work through you and I feel like there are some blocks and I want to know what these are so it's like release there is going to be a release regardless the moon dreams mystery <laughs> okay so that's just like for me confirmation that you guys are like a freaking intuitive psychic maybe your dreams hold a lot of messages from spirit so maybe that's where spirit's trying to connect you connect with you through your dreams through um who okay i just need to clarify that no i just need one card okay there we go and then I'm going to get some intuitive message, messages to clarify because I really want to understand if we can kind of identify a little bit about these blockages that I feel like it's going to be easier for you to release and to let spirit in. Um, but I also feel like with the decision card, yeah. I'm just going to read what it says, all right? Artemis, goddess of the... Bow, help me see what must be known. I feel like this is spirit trying to be like, okay, you need to <laughs> help me see what these blockages are. Like they need to become, they need to come to the surface. All right, I'm gonna get some of these. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Spirit, I might have to get some more tarot cards for you guys, but I just want to see. What are some of these blockages that are going to be removed? Like, this is your glow up. Remember, this is not something that's like... I, it's going to be a struggle. I'm just... Because change is painful. And I feel like this, is, this change is literally going to make you so connected to spirit. Whew, and connected to yourself. Okay, we've got four. Let's have a look. Forgive them. Let it go. All right, so it's a person. Someone. <laughs> someone is still with you, and it could be someone who's got some sort of, like, emotional ties with you. Uh, so possibly release, it able to release this person or this, if, yeah, it's definitely a person. Possibly a person in the past. Forgive them. Spirit's trying to say darkness. So there we go. So this person 
obviously upset you or has caused you pain in some way and spirit's definitely saying forgive them oh, oh god breaking down look at this oh, okay breaking down walls of your old self and being more open and social to those you love reconnection with relationships yes so breaking down your walls of your old self yeah i'm i'm feeling like this is emotional yeah it is with chemistry okay so someone that you used to have chemistry with hurt you or that caused you some sort of pain and it's put up walls and spirit can't get through and spirit's just trying to say forgive them and i think you will because it's going to cause look at this you've got tranquility all right tranquility is just about that 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 peace that spirit needs in order to connect to you like you can't connect to spirit without or you can't be on a higher frequency or connect to the higher realms if you aren't if you don't have that emotional space, which is almost a feeling of stillness and a feeling of acceptance and openness. There is definitely a level of openness that wants to come through and I feel like you're going to achieve that. But it's going to require breaking down walls that may be pa painful. But <laughs> I feel like with the King of Cups and the fact that we have fascination, all right? Fascination. I mean, this is something that you're going to, that you, you, you can do with the Hermit and the introspection. It just requires you going deep within yourself. Look at this girl. I can't stop like looking at this, all right? These are all these things that are like blocking like that. Let's just like, look, like these are all the, uh, I'm gonna say people or experiences in the past that are like, like latching onto you that need to be released, right? And I feel like you're gonna go deep within yourself and you're gonna be able to do that. Then you're gonna be like vibrating so high and you're gonna be so, um, tranquil if I if I may say oh wow oh look at this and I love this I always like the synchronicities and the details can you see look at that it's almost like she's standing next to the volcano and she's just she's about to release or these dead 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 parts of her past that are that are now no longer with her with the cornucopia so my lovely pile number two what a reading okay take care of yourself just know that you're strong enough i really do and i feel like spirit has your back um when spirit really wants to to work with you honestly <laughs> Okay, pile number three. What is your next glow up? Okay, what's coming in that is exciting and that is something that you have to look forward to? So I'm going to put your main card up here with your dominant energies. And then I'm going to lay out your cards. But while I lay out your cards, I'm going to tell you what I picked up when I was meditating on your cards, what came through. And for you guys, it's, I'm just going to have to, I'm figuring, figuring out how to say this because this is all about intimacy and dating and having fun in the bedroom. Uh, that's what kind of came up, which is interesting because I have never had that come up in a reading. I've had intimacy in relationships, but this is, you guys know what I mean, like this is you going out and feeling turned on by someone okay i'm sure you know what i mean by that uh 
so that you guys may be getting into a relationship that you desire or maybe meeting someone that you literally want to rip their clothes off or something uh it's that kind of energy which is exciting and i want to see let's see a little bit more let's see what else is blowing up well prosperity basically <laughs> so it's going to be a very um fortunate time i'm thinking yeah i feel like it's an experience like i feel like this is gonna be the next couple months is gonna be really really exciting and enjoyable for you especially if you've just met if you've just met someone and they're, you're like really into them of course it's gonna be a time of oh feeling on cloud nine i'm getting okay but let's just also have a look Ooh, aries definitely Ooh. Oh, there's my man. There he is, ladies. And if you're a man, it, it doesn't matter. It's just, it will be the woman holding a coin. But I feel like just because it's the bad and we got the bad because there is another woman holding a coin. Whew, there is a man coming in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But let's turn over your other cards. Pyrite, oh, you're manifesting this guy. <laughs> Mortality. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, girls, okay. I feel like this man is coming in when you're almost like, or this person, I'm, I must say, okay, uh, is going to come in when you have felt like life's worth living, okay? Because we have the mortality card. I want to just share with you guys a little bit how I work, all right? Um, so we have numbers here, okay, in my spread, all right? You'll see them on the cards. Whenever we get a sequence, just say like 42 and 43, that means these, two's are, these two cards are in relation to one another, all right? So we've got mortality and then we've got man holding a key. So honestly, once you kind of wake up to your worth, I feel, and the fact that life's so short and that, you know, you are beautiful and that you are ready to... Have this person in your life, okay? There is this urgency, I feel. Or this or this feeling of like, okay, I'm 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 ready now, you know. I'm not gonna waste any more time, if that makes sense, okay? Whew, wow. Wildness untamed. Alright, that's that sexuality that I felt. <laughs> so you guys are gonna be so so goddamn attracted to this person. And then we've got fertility. Yes. <laughs> oh, fertility. Just fertility can mean, you know, maybe some of you guys are going to be. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys are going to be having a baby. I mean, like, I honestly feel like for some of you, this is new. This is going to be a new encounter. Okay. If you're in a relationship. Oh, yes, you're definitely going to be taking things to the next level. You're going to be either having it, possibly wanting to have a child. Uh, if it's not having a child, it's just like having that feeling of, oh, you know, this man, I can know that I can have a family with him. Or I know that I can be serious with this person. And it, and it, like I said, it, it comes from you putting things into perspective okay this 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 person c comes in once you've kind of tied up loose ends that's how i can describe it it's almost like once you've closed the door or you've dealt with some unfinished business especially with the five of swords the dark and light which is the rebirth 
and the mortality. Like this person comes in once you have dealt with some really painful issues, I feel like, of the past, but you're not going to let those issues keep you trapped for the rest of your life, if that makes sense. You know, you're untamed here with the wildness. I love it. Wilderness, I feel. And look at this. We have more. Number synchronicity. Let me bring it up, okay? I, like, it's kind of hard to have, like, numbers that are in sequence. Like, look at this, right? 42, 43, 43. You know what that means? Look at this. This is, going. oh my God, that is, like, untamed. <laughs> Like, I honestly feel like you guys are going to be wild with each other, if that makes sense. You're just going to be irresistible to each other. Yeah. But it comes when you put the past in the past and you, you open up and you let this person in. And you, and you, and you believe that there is, there is this, this, this this person out there a queen of wands look what it says determination discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to so for some of you with the pirate which is definitely about manifestation is about you manifesting this person in but like you're determined to like you've got areas and then you've got I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Like, areas people will get what they want. So you're going to get this amazing, amazing connection. Oh, my God. It was very, like, straight up. But I want to get some intuitive messages. Like, I don't know. Should I pull some cards a bit about this person? Um, but like I said, if you're in a relationship, it's just... There might be like a, 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 a rekindle of, of love, I guess, or it's just like things are becoming more serious. Let's get some more messages. interest you and read it there is a message meant to find you go figure it out okay careful oh all right this is almost like careful what you wish for say kind words find someone in your life or a stranger and say something positive okay this is just you getting out there and like speaking to people and this I feel like this is gonna be the stranger <laughs> that you say something nice to <sighs> all right I feel like I'm gonna give you two more cards just because I want to actually can we get a bit of insight into this person just because I'm curious and you guys may be curious <laughs> um, let's have a look Let's see a bit about how they're going to be acting. Oh, success. All right, so it's a good option. This person is good for you. Oh. And it's interesting because it's got Libra. Libra's all about relationships. Harmony, the key. Maybe this is the key. This is the key. This is the partnership year. Let's get some more. Let's get a little bit of that. Gambler. Okay. That is you taking the initiative, okay? Look at what it says. Willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. All right? Follow your intuition. Because it's going to lead you to this person. Whew. I want to get a little bit more. I'm just too curious, pile number three. Knight of Swords. Oh, it might be an S sign. Uh, he's very smart. 
is, I feel like he's going to get you and he's going to understand you and he's going to be able to use his words to, to kind of like lure you or to like make you feel so infatuated because <laughs> there is infatuation here I feel because that's what I felt when I was meditating on your cards. The High Priestess. So I feel like this is the connection. You're going to have such a close connection. You're going to feel in sync with them. You're going to feel like you two are understanding each other on a whole new level. A level that you have never felt before. Okay. It's just like when something feels like it fits. It's like, okay, wow. I get along with you. Wow. You are... Um, it's like when a conversation flows. When we get the King of Swords and the High Priestess, it's just, yeah, it's about you not having issues with speaking to this person. I feel like you guys could talk to this person all night about anything and it just feels so good. And I feel like the way that they use their words is going to just make you feel like you want to jump on them. Yeah, there is just lots of sexuality in this spread. Two of Wands. Interesting. Decisions. Hmm. Maybe you'll need to make a decision. This I feel like this is kind of like if you guys are in a relationship, you guys may need to make a decision. You know, maybe someone proposes to you or maybe there's a decision about having a baby or something. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Nice. Nine of Wands and the Judgment card. So Nine of Wands is stamina and then it says Judgment Opportunity, all right? So I definitely felt like this person comes in after you going through a lot, all right? With the Nine of Wands and the mortality, like you really oh, having to put your past behind you and really still believe that there is i'm just going to say it, like a person out there for you and if this relates to a relationship okay maybe there were some some issues in the relationship uh that you had to work out and i feel like you did with the five of swords and with the judgment that just brings like you guys have found your wings again honestly it's almost like she's holding a paintbrush she's painting on her wings that's amazing like that connects with the pirate like you are man you've manifested this person this 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 sexual connection i'm just gonna say that because that's what i that's the energy guys that's the energy <laughs> so enjoy Woo. amazing glow up lots of passion okay my pile number fours my last pile so what is your glow up <laughs> what is coming that is exciting let's put your card there Okay, I'm going to lay out your cards and I'm going to get a feel for the energy. I'm just going to tap in and see what Spirit wants to deliver while I lay out your cards. Um, okay, Spirit's telling me something about chaos. Like there is, there's been chaos, there's been possibly some, some events that haven't been very pleasurable, okay? I'm just getting a sense of anxiety already. Um, but I feel like I'm just tapping into your energy at the moment. So this is all about your glow up. So I'm hoping that you guys feeling possibly a little bit more settled. All right, I can't channel from that one. So I'm just gonna get another one. Those cards are when the archetype's blank. So I wanna give you another one. Missed it, okay. Creativity. Wow. Purple is all about like 
for me, it is about you connecting to your spirituality. It is connecting to your intuition. It is basically connecting to your inner power. I always feel purple is about... It represents the High Priestess, 100%. And what does the High Priestess represent? Represents trusting your own intuition. Trusting that you... You have the ability to uh, to almost like create things in your life you don't need to rely on anyone else but yourself and it just honestly like the high priestess is all about trusting trusting oneself and believing that there is divine guidance and that divine guidance is with her all the time And we got intuition <laughs> again. Uh, okay, so there's that anxiety with the Ten of Wands, okay? Whew. Trust. Trust is in the middle of your reading. Can you believe that? Trust your intuition. If you guys have been feeling anxious. Anxiety is just unawareness. If you guys tap into trying to understand why you're anxious, you might suddenly find that your anxiety disappears. And the thing that I'm getting here is with the creativity card, it's like, if you guys are feeling anxious, oh my God, like, turn it, in, turn it into something creative. Like, find something that, you can put all your creativity into. You have two queens here. Wow. You have Cancer and you have Libra. What else? Hmm. Yeah, okay. I want to say that you're, you have Okay. You are going through some sort of karmic lesson, okay? And I feel like your blow up is you coming through this, okay? Learning the lesson. Because it's next to wind, which is about movement, all right? You have... I feel like you guys have... I've learned some sort of coming lesson. You have to go through it. And that is what kind of caused you this anxiety or whatever you kind of feel like your pain. Um, let me read your abundance card. I am limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And it's next to trust. Yes. But it requires trusting your intuition. And it's interesting how we've got the swords here, okay? The Queen of Swords is, she, she comes up into my readings a lot. <laughs> she almost looks really, really, um, she looks determined there, which is great, okay? She trusts her own advice. That is what I'm getting. Oh. I'm being, I'm taking in your cards a lot because there is a lot here about your anxiety and I'm trying to kind of channel where it's coming from. Um, we have the best debt card here, okay? And it says independence, protection, and boundaries. You obviously need to protect yourself. I feel like these anxieties are causing, are being caused by other people. So, and it's interesting. We've got forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. Are there some memories or is there something that is giving it you anxiety?
Forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. So I feel like there are certain things that people have almost put on you that you have it's almost like you could say expectations or you could say beliefs or you can say things about yourself right that are not true and they're giving you anxiety and spirit's just coming in here like i'm with the queen of swords a hundred percent all right saying like you may be in some karmic relationships where you honestly have to get rid of what everyone thinks about you or how people see you and to realize that none of that really matters and none of that defines you this is oh my god with the independence here like this is you trusting your intuition giving yourself love and compassion with the queen of cups and with the queen of swords trying to develop your independence it's almost like the image that i'm getting is like you're in a group of people and all these people have these ideas about you of who you are and you're not actually being your true self and because they don't see you that way you know they see you another way and that causes anxiety for you and i feel like with the queen of swords it's like really stepping and stepping into being true to yourself but doing it in a diplomatic way here with the fairness like be fair it's interesting because the queen of swords wouldn't be fair like i feel like she wouldn't mind speaking her mind even if it comes across a little bit bitchy you know what i mean so it's very interesting that we have that there <laughs> so maybe spirit's trying to say don't be a bitch just if there are some people who are trying to tell you what to do or just control you or tell you how to live your life like spirit's trying to say don't do it don't do it <laughs> mainly don't just just try to be fair trust your intuition do it with love like honestly that is where spirit's saying right now um and just to know that you have assistance with you like you look at this you have guides that are with you right now and it's under the abundance card so your guides are with you working with your manifestation so there is something that you want to manifest and possibly there may be some people that are interfering and getting in the way of that okay um just know that you are definitely in union with the divine okay and that's probably why your spirit guides are coming through here you are a mystic and they're helping you with some sort of manifestation and it could be something to do with the creativity card in general i just feel like you guys are very creative so maybe there is this glow up of you it being more creative uh, and expressing like who you are because there's this sense of independence it's this like with this card here guys wind and movement there's this movement that happens like you make this shift within yourself a shift away from this hardship from this ten of wands you set some boundaries and you are protected and honestly i feel like you could ask your your spirit guides to 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 protect you i think they're already doing that because um but like the center of your card is trust trust yourself don't trust other people yeah, let's get some more more information. Whew. Okay. Okay, focus on the words you were saying. Are they giving out positivity or negative vibration? Ooh, powerful. This is 
this is definitely to come up with your this is in relation to your manifestation all right what are the words that you're saying are they are they going to help your manifestation because it's a powerful determinant of whether you're going to be able to manifest this desire and yeah Ooh. Ooh, you'll be enjoying the finer things in life uh -huh. i feel like that's once you kind of put boundaries in and protect yourself and embrace your independence okay i feel like there's more to come out Find someone that you trust to help you talk out any issues or changes. So yes, and we've got trust again. You, trust is very important to you, I feel, all right? Yeah. Find someone that you trust. To talk out any issues, to talk out this Ten of Wands. I mean, like, look at this. What does it say on the Ten of Wands? Hardship. But then we've got abundance. So, yeah. Let's get some more. Take a new direction. Ooh, maybe that's where that creativity comes in. So, some of you guys may... Definitely take a new direction once you kind of not let people tell, like, it's almost like once you start to stop following the crowd and what other people want of you, then you're going to definitely be able to take this new direction and it's going to lead you to be able to enjoy the fine things in life. How exciting. Maybe your manifestation has something to do with that. Uh, maybe some sort of creativity project that you want to manifest. Um, but nonetheless, guys, you have so much support from your spirit guides. Whew. So power number four, that was your reading. Okay. Trust your intuition. Connect with the divine. 